All right, guys, after a heartbreaking ACL tear last year, the Giants are hoping to get a healthy dose of Saquon Barkley in their lineup this season. If you think that'll happen, you can get plus 350 odds for Saquon to get 1,200 plus regular season rushing yards, plus Daniel Jones 400 plus regular season rushing yards. Now, this does include a Daniel Jones prop along with Saquon. So do you like that, Stan, or does including Daniel Jones turn you away from this bet? <laughs> Anytime I hear Daniel Jones, I just want to automatically fade it. But uh, I'm actually good with that side of the prop. Um, it's the Saquon side that I have serious reservations about. Uh, you know, when he was healthy uh, in his first two seasons, he averaged around 79 yards per game. You know, at that number, if he misses two games, he misses the prop. I could definitely see him missing two games this year. So, uh, you know, if this prop was a combined yardage total rather than broken it down into individual players, uh, it's probably more palatable, but, you know, yeah, I was just worried about the Saquon started, side of this. AJ, are you actually more worried about the Saquon side than the Daniel Jones side? No, actually, and I agree with what Stan said. I, I think there's a possibility that, that Barkley could miss this, though. Uh, I might be willing to take it, maybe if, if it was on its own. But, yeah, Daniel Jones, let's not forget, you know, he had 65 rushing attempts last year. Like, that's really high for a quarterback. I just don't see the Giants wanting him to go out there and do that uh, that often. I, I think maybe 45, closer to what he had two years ago, is, is a better target for him, even with the extra game in there. Uh, and I think they'll try and reduce the number of times that he, he does that, and I think that's really going to hurt his yard. So I, I, I'm with Stan. I, th I think there's easily Barkley uh, could miss a game or two, and then he misses that. But I'm actually more worried about the Daniel Jones side. All right, Jeff, are you worried about both sides, one side more than the other? I mean, definitely there, you have to be a little bit worried about the Saquon prop. I mean, you know, obviously not even really guaranteed for week one, although it looks like he's trending towards that way. I do think if Saquon is healthy to start the year, this is a huge season for, for Saquon Barkley. He's going to do everything he can to stay healthy and obviously be out in the field. But more to that. I think if he's out there and, and ready and willing and healthy, the Giants are going to give him the ball. So I have less reservations. I'm actually interested to see what his prop will be because his prop, his rushing over prop isn't actually on the DraftKings Sportsbook right now, at least that I can see like as an individual. So when that comes up, that might be something to look for for an over because it could be lower than usual. Again, you are probably going to get a bit of a discount because you're talking about a, a, a player coming off an ACL injury. I think the Giants are going to do everything they can to rush him as much as possible. Keep the ball out of Daniel Jones's hands so they don't fumble every drive. And, and I think the Saquon prop is much more attractive. But AJ alluded to this. Daniel Jones went from rushing from 21.5 yards per game last year to over 30. I don't think with Saquon in the lineup, that's going to happen. And also, don't forget, you know, the 80-yard stumble run really boosted his average there. Like, when you get one 80-yard run as a quarterback, that's going to do something to your averages. You're this probably, he's probably not going to do that again. He's probably not going to run for 80 yards ever again in a game. So uh, all things considered, yeah, the Daniel Jones one, uh, the, the, it, would, it has me out on this combined total. I am interested to see what Saquon as an individual rushing prop is once that, up, once that is up on the DraftKings Sportsbook.